Second example. Well, as you can see, this has a little bit of a slight difference with the exponents. Probably a few of you are freaking out and saying, well, what do we do with those uh, rational things? What do we do with that negative exponent right there, right? Two-thirds, five-halves, minus three. Well, it's just a matter of expressing things mathematically, okay? There are different ways that you can uh, use in mathematics to say this, uh, the same thing, okay? When you have something x power to a rational exponent, and say a over b and a and b are real numbers, all that you're saying is that you have the root of b x power to a. So in this example, let's say you have x power to two third, what you have is the cubic root of x squared. Okay, it's just flipping the rational and assigning uh, a root to the uh, quotient that you have right here. When you have something this power to a negative exponent, all you're saying is that you have the inverse of that variable power to a. So in this case, when we have x power to minus 3, all we're saying is that we have 1 over x cubed. That's it. It's just a mathematical rearrangement of the uh, elements of the equation. So all we have to do next is use the k x power to n derivative rule. Okay? So what we're going to do with this example y equals 3x power to 2 thirds minus 2x power to 5 halves plus x power to minus 3. It's just follow the simple rule. So what we're going to do here is 3x 2 thirds prime minus 2x power to 5 halves prime plus x minus 3 prime. Okay? And now we proceed to execute the derivative. y equals, well, 2 thirds goes down like k, and we're going to have 3 times 2 thirds x, and then 2 thirds minus 1 according to the rule so 2 thirds minus 1 is 2 thirds minus 3 thirds. So it's minus 1 third. Okay? Minus 5 halves goes down, so we have 2. X power 2. 5 halves minus 1 is 5 half minus 2 halves. So 5 over 2 minus 2 over 2. So that's 3 2 or 3 halves. Plus minus 3 goes down. I'm going to have to erase this for a second. x minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. And now we just simplify y prime. 3, 3 goes away. So we have 2 x minus 1 third minus 2 cancels 2. So we have 5 x 3 halves plus minus is minus 3 x minus 4. If you want to simplify or make it look a little bit better with the rationals and the radicals and everything else, you can do it. So it would be something like y prime equals 2. See the negative number right here? It just means that it's irrational, and that's it. 2 over cubic root of x, following that rule, 1 third is cubic root of x power to 1, which is x, minus 5 square root of x cubed. Remember, you don't need to put the 2 in the square root. Minus 3 over x power to 4. 3 stays in the numerator because the 3 is multiplying the entire function doesn't have to go away. The minus 4 is only affecting the x. And there you go. There is the solution.
for the exercise. Again, let's do it a little bit uh, quick, a brief um, of what we did. Just use the rule that says k x power to n equals k n x n minus 1. So that's what we do. 2 thirds goes down, multiplied by 3. 2 thirds minus 1 is 1 third. 5 halves goes down, multiplied by 2. 5 halves minus 1, 3 halves. Minus 3 goes down, minus 3, minus 1 is minus 4. And there we go. And the simplified version.